this week, I'm deeming Keto Week. So for those of you that have hopped on the keto train, or even if you're going a little bit more carb conscious for the new year, I'm going to bring you some sweets. Because, you know, it's easy to think of things that aren't sweet, but some of us have that sweet tooth. We need that. These are keto approved. Okay, so if you love mint and chocolate together, today's recipe is for you. I love the Andes mints. Oh, Alexis, at the end of like, what is it, Olive Garden? When they yeah. were like, uh, just give me a couple honks of those mints oh and gosh, I can down so them all. Good. I'd rather have that than chocolate peanut butter. What about you? Chocolate like peanut those. butter or chocolate mint? I mean, I like it all. You do. So, but you know what? I feel like the mint makes me feel more refreshed. So It does. And you know, here I'm talking about mint. I'm talking about dessert. I'm grabbing a handful of spinach because that's the first thing that the smoothie starts okay. with. I usually try to put a handful of spinach in most of my smoothies. You can't can't tell it's there and I'm going to give you the secret mm -hmm. to not being able to tell it's there. The reason why I do it mm -hmm. is because spinach is your energy giver. Okay. If you want more energy, you eat spinach every afternoon or put handfuls of it in your smoothie, you will change in three days. Wow. I almost promise you that. I, I just, love that. <laughs> I don't want to give false promises, but everybody who's given there. this tip, mm -hmm, a great way to sneak it in there is in a smoothie. Now into that, I am adding some avocado Okay. Um, because our keto folks, they love their healthy fats and that's honestly, that's what we need. We need it for our brain, our heart, our eyes. Avocados have monounsaturated fats that are especially good for the heart. It's like yoga for the arteries. Think oh, of an avocado like that. Yoga for okay? the arteries. Well, yoga for the bending. arteries. Okay. Then, <laughs> I knew you'd love that. <laughs> and then, because I'm not adding a banana, okay, bananas would be too many carbs for our keto friends, I'm adding a little bit of a keto sweetener. Oh, okay. So this is called keto sweet. It's erythritol. Erythritol is not absorbed by the body. Okay. So it's something that those folks use all the time. All right? So you've got your spinach in there. You go ahead and blend. Working, it's that working. Way, that's right. And we're working all those little spinach bits out. That way you don't sip it and go, like this spinach a salad. In there. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. All right. That's a nice color to it. And then we want, thank you. I know, it's kind of, it looks like we blended the Grinch, doesn't yes, it? Yes. I literally just said that in my brain. Like, it kind of looks like the Grinch, but we're past Christmas. At this but point. she trusts me. She, I think yes. that uh, I've proven myself enough there to my co host that she knows, okay, any. it seems weird. There hasn't been anything that you've given me that I have not liked. liked. Ooh, that's so saying that's something, good. right? It I is, because I if I didn't like it, you know I would have told you. You would tell me. She's honest. <laughs> that's right. All right, so then I put in a scoop of protein powder. And then just a little bit of peppermint extract. Oh. You guys, this stuff is strong. I smell it. And you don't want to touch your eye. You, you don't want to touch it with your fingers, you know, mm -hmm. and then take out a contact or anything oh, like that. It is goodness. some strong stuff. It will open up the airwaves. Um, if you have the it's like sniffles, putting wasabi in your eye. It is. Golly. Yep, that's exactly right. What I love about this is that for people who are on the go, mm -hmm. this is perfect because, yes. you know, you're able to get all the things that you need, and especially all of our keto folks, sometimes they really have to plan ahead, so. Yes, that's right. Ooh. Okay, so I probably should have put more ice in there, but I'm going to pour one for you, one for Marcus, and yes. then what we're going to do to the rest okay. is add cocoa powder. Ooh, okay. okay. So now I'm going to make the chocolate, because we have to have a chocolate layer on top of the mint layer, yeah. okay? I'm gonna add a little bit more of that keto sweetener, okay? A little bit more protein powder and ice. Okay. And then we will re-blend and you will have, you know, it kind of feels like an Andy's Mint outside. Yeah, oh yes. Frosty I, uh, and... I mean, I walked out and I was like, what is this? And then I had to remember that it's, it's January. <laughs> Normally the hardest winters come in February, right? Yeah, so, oh I know. You know. My electric blanket will be great. And <laughs> the idea of my electric blanket mm -hmm. with a smoothie? Oh, there we go. I'm That's excited about it. Yep, absolutely. Yep. And now we're getting a different color. Mm -hmm. Yes, so here is our chocolate layer. Okay. All right. Oh, yes. Now, this oh, I added so much. It is like ice cream. Oh, okay. I like ice cream. You know, so that's my love language. It is. It's mine, too. There we go. Just pour the whole thing in there. Oh, I love it. All right. Okay. Here you is go, it my, my turn? friend. Wonderful. Cheers Andy's to Marcus's. Just, we you know. will bring Marcus some. Um, and too bad we can't bring Randall some. Mm. Do you like it? Isn't it good? The mint. Refreshing. It, I just felt like I just woke up again from a nap. This it is good. It will wake you up. Mm -hmm. It is the perfect, like, maybe healthier substitute from caffeine if you're looking to not have so much yeah. caffeine in the afternoon, but you need a pick-me-up. Mint extract, mint oil is Ooh, another thing you can do. Ooh, this is good.